Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and the Meerkat Nation. Welcome to Starbound. I played it a little bit off camera, not a long time. Didn't have a huge amount of time to to do so. We had errands to do today. Me and the fam. So I collected some of the uh Solarium, I think it's called. I got a new healing wand. Alright, the new healing wand is uh, level 6, primary fire swarm and healing zone. So it's a little bit more powerful than the other one. I still got this sword I got in the last episode that uh, is one of my favorites. I made the grappling hook and I have these two pistols which are actually like little laser rifles. It's weird. I didn't expect them to be laser rifles. Because I don't think I ever made these before or if I have it's... I don't remember it. Alright, let's move the diamonds down. Let's put our solarium in here. Actually, we need to make the solarium. Because I want to make the next set of armor. Okay, let's see. Let's drop everything off that I do not need. Oh, that don't belong in there. No. Keep putting the wrong things in the wrong things. If that makes any sense. I never make sense though. I was about to start using uh, my intros. I was going to be uh, starting to say. Uh, welcome to Starbound. Or welcome to video game title here. Uh, nobody cares. And where, and where the points don't matter. <laughs> uh, YouTube. <laughs> Am I right? Alright. Let's make some of this uh, solarium here see here we go how much does it cost two per so I can make 133 I don't think I'm gonna make that much I will make 50 until we need more and then we'll make more smelt smelt my wonderful furnace everything needs to go that fast do I still have any upgrades for any tables Nope, 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 nope. Uh, I think everything's at 100%. I do need to make the other tables that we have in here. We got the apothecary. Actually, I already have that. Uh, the fossil station. Pixel compressor. The pet station. Kitchen counter. Refinery. Royal crafting. And the wiring station. At some point. We're going to go explore some more of those... Uh, new plants I ran into all right let's see here all right so this stuff is the solarium which I need uh, vermin's hat but which one did I build for it wasn't this one I think it was the green maybe 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 all right let's see here put it back down again I do believe it was Let's try the blue. It could be the Frosium one. There we go. It costs 12. 32. 40 total. Mm. Compared to, let's see, what's the major game? So this is a hat. 108. Here we go. 90. 22, 5, 24. 15, 18, 18. Hmm. It's a little bit more, of course. 180. 150. 37, 5, 40. 30, 30, 25, 25. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll go ahead and make them then. They look weird, but I'll go ahead and do it. At some point, I want to build the rest of the armors because you have different sets. But that means I have to go find, um, farm some more solarium. It's probably out of all different types of ores that you can find. And uh, I think the plant, the uh, system I was in the last episode was... Um, and I'm completely naked. Wow, game. Put some clothes on. There you go. 
But I can say right now that that hat is a little um, silly. This one's silly. Well, that's just obvious. But that, just <laughs> 10 gallon hat, anybody? <laughs> Alright. But I can't give up my uh, my helmet. I like my computer computer head. Alright, let's see. Where did I put all my costumes? It's on the ship. Yeah, it's on the ship. If I can remember correctly. I got so many chests just lying about. Alright, now I'm gonna try to make the weapons. Do I still have the solarium on me? Yes. Yes. I'll do another 20. To make sure I got enough for weapons. Seems like just yesterday I made these weapons. Hmm. Alright, so this one gives you... Hmm. Staves. Staves. Force cage. Is that all it gives? So the blue one is staves. Of course, I said this yesterday, but my memory is not that great. So I don't remember exactly. This one's the green one. I don't want the green one. I want this one. Yes. Yes. I think the green one gives you ranged. Let's see here. So we got this one. 33, 4, 1, 2, flip slash. Oh, I remember this sword actually. Uh, 33, 4. 36, 2. That one has a 0.1% fire rate compared to this one. I'll keep my rainbow sword. I like rainbow sword. As I said before, it is my favorite. So let's go do the green one now. There we go. I want to check out the guns. Alright, let's see what we got. Do I have anything in here that's for Solarium? What? Oh, here it is. It says, hmm. Energy shot. Traditional weapon for hunting laser deer. I'll go ahead and make that. Let's get my sli or uh, that one stuff out of here. Age of salt. That wonderful salt. And a large battery. Which I need acid. Copper wire, do you believe? Dang it, guys. My memory is so bad. Gold bars, okay. I'm an old man, that's why. One large car battery. Weighs a metric ton. Let's put that away. Keep this stuff. Take this off. Alright. Let's go make that a bow. The a bow. It's, it's a different kind of bow. You obtained a bow. Overcoming a monster with one of these significantly increases your chances of getting meat and rare crafting ingredients. I want the rare crafting ingredients, not really the food. That's all I can really make. Alright. Well, we're going to equip this said bow. It takes a lot of energy. We're going to take up my Aegis pistols. What I'm going to do is... Uh, Keep those on me. I like these, but I'll, I'll just put them here for now. Need safe space. My inventory is just always full. It's always full. Every day, all day. Alright, I have found some stuff off camera. Not a lot, but I found some. I found some blueprints. A tar console. A tar man. Oh, already learned that one. I found this very subtle, uh, subtle, can't subtle, wig. Bam. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, tar trousers, a uh, machine pistol, stuff. Level six, meaning tiered six. I think that's the highest you go. 
Not that I know for sure. Yeah, some stuff. Yeah, all right. Uh, costumes. I found the legs of the Fire Lord's Greaves. Now the Fire Lord set. And you guys have already seen all the rest of these. I might switch to these. So this here. Actually take those off. Put this on this side because they're really powerful. And these are the next powerful. And I'll keep all the little ones on me as well. Just for the hex of it. Alright, let's put away some of this stuff. This is the... Old healing staff. Yeah, I didn't put away that junk. Oh well. Okay, all healing items in that corner. All this stuff can be put away. Away, away. That reminds me of Bloodborne. I've just been putting all my upgrade materials over here. Dang it. Ah, oh, really? Lame. No, it's already there. Okay. Awesome. There's my old pistol. I'll put it down there for now. My old set of armor. Random junk. Let's put this stuff in here for now. I want to keep my inventory as clear as I can because we're going to go exploring a bit more. And if we got a little bit more time, I want to go in. Dang it, I don't want that in there. And see if we can do at least a couple of rounds in the uh, arena kind of thing. We'll see if we can. Uh, clay is in one of these. I remember seeing it. It's mud. Clay? Where are you? There you are. Okay. I've been saving up my clay because I want to make bricks with them. Of course. That's what you do with clay, right? Let's put the stone in here. Yeah, let's put all that in here. Keep the sand on me for now. Alright. Actually, what I'm going to do is go to the ark. We're going to go do the arena. First. Arena time, arena time. And I think you get uh, trophies per every victory. And then the last fight you get a sword. A fire sword of some kind. It's special. Purple rare, uh, legendary. What I will do is switch these out. Because I want all my weapons to be in the first hands. Even though the arena, the first round or so, is kind of easy. Now, this is who, this is the one that gives you the arena. You do her missions, the first mission. Hey, champion. A guy invented, uh, invited me to a gladiator arena tournament. But I think you should go in instead. Instead. If you're feeling tough, talk to me and I can send you there for the first round. Sure. Send me to my death. Are you sure you're ready to enter the arena against the trio of gladiators? Once inside, the only escape is victory. Yeah, off camera, I died a couple of times to lava. What's up, man? You look spooky. There are three gladiators and, e and each fly uh, fights differently. Yep, they have different styles and different weapons. Doors automatically open for you. Making sure I have everything scanned. Kind of want to go to this bow. Does take a lot of energy to use this said bow. 30 energy per. Compared to pistols. Oh. Dang it. Wow, what is up with that frame rate? Gosh. I think they need to fix the game, right? Oh, they I have a helmet like this. Gotcha. Oh. Do these uh, shots bounce off the ground? I thought I saw that one come back. Come on. You want to go sword to sword? Alright. Alright. I know they get tougher as it goes, though, so. First one's usually the easiest. You notice the uh, regenerator, uh, regeneration rate is a little faster. Not by a huge amount, but it is a little faster. I suppose not too bad. The draw time's a bit 
long though. And uh, to use these bows, you right when it flashes, as you see the body of the uh, bow itself, it flashes at a certain point, just when you're supposed to release and you have the most damage. See, I think the flashing wing allows it to bounce too. Now that's kind of neat. Back to, and I think it takes you back to the teleporter, not the quest giver. Most likely. This game, this game, for some reason, my computer's not that bad. It's only a couple of years old, and, you know, I had it custom built. And, uh, this game, for some reason, has always been buggy like this. Where it loses frames and whatnot. You survived. Knew you'd make it. Uh, knew you'd make it. Good job, champ. And no missions right now. Okay. Well, we did one thing. What was she bouncing there for? Weird. Alright, nothing else to do here right now except for her, but we're going to do the story stuff later. I'm all about the exploration at first to beef myself up with some awesome gear. Well, we did the first arena battle. It wasn't nothing too great. No orbiting bodies. No moons, no nothing. That one had one moon right there. It's kind of far away from the planet. This one's got two. Wow, oh, this is just a lava world. I don't think there's going to be anything too interesting. It's like the ocean world where you just have a few islands. Oh, what is this? Acid world. Garros. Crest. Three. Or Jiros. Garros or Jiros? Geralt from uh, the Witcher series. That's what I'm going to call it from here on out. Geralt. Welcome to Geralt. Looks like snow, but I think it's acid. Or poison. How are you guys liking my wig? <laughs> We're going to rock the, ooh, the wig for a while. You got all kinds of weird costume stuff. Oh, it's an ice planet. Okay. So when the when the bow glows, it bounces. If you can catch it just right, there we go. Takes a bit of practice to do, but I oh, got a little base over there. What you got? Best deals around. What you got? Wow, that's old gear, bro. This is a little bit better, but still old. Could have done a little bit better than that, dude. No, I'm not selling my trophy. Alright, off we go. Wow, look at that damage, 100 and something. Wow. It's actually quite impressive. Uh, it's kind of like right now. Well, we'll see how that is when I'm in the heat of battle. I'm thinking next episode we're going to do the next um, mission. Did I open? Okay, I did open that. I was like, I thought I opened that. That power box. Alright. And I have been messing with this a little bit. <laughs> Trying to learn it a little bit better. I knew of it, just never used it. Oh, whoa, there's a lot of stuff in here. Got a machine pistol, which I just put away a machine pistol. Alright, that was a lot of stuff. Worth it. Ow. It's a secret hidden base. With snow... Concrete. Oh, I don't want to break it. All right, so we got a blade whirl, one fire rate, twenty nine four, two hundred spear. Okay. More huge glasses, which I already found a pair. Not much. Kind of like the look of these boxes. They're very futuristic. 
And I don't mind futuristic. All right. I think about putting Minecraft on my channel, but I'm not sure about that. Everybody's seen Minecraft, and I, to be honest with everybody, I had gotten kind of bored with Minecraft. Like the actual vanilla game is just to me is really boring. Well, it's a fun game though. Looks like I'm hearing something in the distance, and I don't even know what it is. Ooh, that's a huge axe you got there, bro. Yeah, go, 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 get him, get him. Haha, uh -huh, I took care of him for you. You're welcome. All right. It's probably not the best idea to use this bow. To shoot little pods on the ground. Roller. Wow, this bow is actually quite good. So when you get to this point, you have Solaria. Make the bow. Worth it. Stone door. It looks like a poo. A gray poo. Sorry, just being real here, you know. Ripped for pleasure. So. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying stuff like that. I haven't been using my rainbow sword. Bo, what you doing to me? Sword looks cool. Wrong. Yeah, it takes a bit of getting used to this, uh, the grappling hook in this game. I would love to have a dedicated button for it, though, just like in Traria. A dedicated button would be awesome. As long as it's easy on my hands when it comes to the keyboard side of things. Oh, another chest. What are we going to get? A bunch of stuff? Oh. A throwing boulder. Okay. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Do I have this grass texture? I don't know. I think it would be like a beginning building material. Jump for your life. That was a heck of a drop. Hope you guys are ready for Monday. If you're watching this now and you catch the my episode on the December 24th, it's going to be my 100th episode on YouTube. Wow, 100 episodes already. Crazy. Rocket launcher. Homing rocket. Okay. Energy to Whoa, well, look at that energy. It's going to take up half of my energy pretty much. homing rocket though that sounds good I hope the tracking on it's really really good then it won't be worth it especially on a 2d plane hundred sixty seven damage on a a bauble I guess you can call them they sound like clay or something like hardened clay like a pot when you break them it's one heck of a mountain Ow. One shot. Uh, when you find one of these healing staffs, they are definitely worth it. They're slower than your average kits, except for the little, uh, whatever you call them. Whoop. Mountain climbing. Oh, gosh. We.
Well, dude. Um, goodbye. See you later. <laughs> I went too far. See, having to select, uh, go to the actual grappling hook is kind of a pain. When you play, when you've been playing Treya for several years, it's kind of hard to not have that kind of, you know, button that actually goes straight to having grappling hook. Whoops, I think he was a good guy. A flying thing. I'm gonna have so much meat for this. Cause you know when you use bows and stuff you get more chance of getting meat and whatnot. And leather slash what they can drop like uh the cryopods or anything such as. So if you go to a planet filled with robots, use a bow, and you'll get more of the uh, RAM, the circuit boards, are you evil? Are you Dr. Evil? Now that's a movie franchise that kind of disappeared, the Austin Powers stuff. You don't need these on, you're wasting electricity. You have no loot whatsoever here? Come on, man. I'm a lootist. I need loot. Whoa. You see how it was like... Destroyed everything down that hill and then hit the enemy. So satisfying. Little square dudes. Are these like Meat Boy? But they're frozen? Cool. And hope everybody's looking forward to Sunday. Tomorrow. December 23rd. I have to be very clear about that. As that I got another episode of. Old School Sundays. Which is going to be Dusk. I've been wanting to play that all week. But I've been saving it for you guys. I've been completely. I have played. Um. Uh. uh Project Warlock a lot because I do love those old person, you know, those old first person shooters. Old person shooters is what I was about to say. I am old. But back to what I was saying is that I love those old style Doom type games, you know. Pretty much grew up on those puppies. Alright. I don't even know how old I was when Doom was released. It was released, what, 94, 95? 93, maybe? Can't remember. Alright. But yeah, I will be putting Doom and uh, Quake, Hexen, Heretic. I even own a Heretic. I'm going to put it all on uh, my channel. So look forward to that in the future, but right now I'm playing Dusk, the new, the new old style first person shooter. And uh, even uh, Half-Life, I'm going to put Half-Life on there, because even though you don't want to believe it, it is old now, sadly. Oh, he looks so derpy and happy. Well, he's going to kill me though. Poor little dude. He didn't know what he was doing. So therefore he died. Neo Chakram. Ooh. Is that a legendary rating? Kind of want to make that now. Sweet. Blueprints all day. Some of those purple legendary weapons are not that powerful. But there's some of these uh, legendary weapons... That you can find or get a blueprint for that allows you to build a new weapon using it as ingredient as an and ingredient do i have this on yeah i do you know how i am about my scanning gotta do it
got to catch them all, right? Got to catch all of them blueprints. I was going to be blasphemous, but I was never really a big fan of uh, Pokemon or even uh, Digimon. My wife was, though. She likes Digimon. And all this. Uh, I don't think she likes Pokemon too much, but I wasn't really a fan of any of them. I had Dragon Ball Z when I was growing up. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Big O, what was this? So it was Cowboy Bebop, Trigun. That's the anime stuff I watched. It's hard to say anime anymore because everybody's minds go revert straight to. Not really revert, their minds just go straight to, uh, you know, the, the evil side of anime, which is called hentai, or, or they think it's all about scantily clad clad women and most of them look too young to be in that situation don't block my shots brah oh that was a glowing shot ah. I think my dough uh, my dough dough what is a dough my bow was out doing your gun ha. take some bow yeah ooh Spicy ribs, sticky ribs, what? Ribs. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be eating good tonight. We got ourselves some ribs. Smoke those over a, a low heat for about six, seven hours at the most. Some good smoke flavor. Not fake smoke though. I'm talking about like mesquite or hickory or something. Oh yeah. Kind of wondering if everybody's watching my videos from um, anywhere else around the world. Everybody does their barbecue differently. I worked in a barbecue restaurant or a couple of barbecue restaurants for years. One of them for over ten years. I kind of want to know how's your uh, how's everybody else's barbecue in the world. I was a pit master at one of them for ten years, so yeah, I kind of know barbecue personally. Oh, I missed. If I can ricochet these shot. Oh, there it is, guys. Did you see that trick shot of the century? It bounced like three times and then hit him. Amazing. Hey, Mr. Derpy. Oh. Mr. Derpy going... Bye-bye. Okay, these are... These chests are very... Very disappointing so far. Did I have any... Oh, yeah, they weren't there. But these are very disappointing. Make sure I got all my scans done. Hey, Mr. Derp. There you go. Oh, well, that uh, ended him pretty quickly. Oh, we're getting into some tar territory. And next episode of this, uh, like I said earlier, I'm thinking about going ahead and going on a next uh, story mission and go after Ezra Knox, I do believe. I have, a, I think you have to fight her at least two times. That's all I'm going to say. Because if you haven't beaten this game, or even played it, which I highly recommend you do. Wow, I broke his shield in one hit. But I do recommend this game, so I'm not going to spoil too much. But if you continue watching my videos, you will see the whole storyline. So be aware of that. And if you don't mind that kind of thing... Because your experience is not going to be exactly like mine. Because, of course, this uh, universe is kind of procedurally generated. I think the stars are always in the same place for everybody. But the way the w world forms, where you're going to find chests, what kind of dungeons you'll find on the on those planets and whatnot, is not going to be the same as what I have. Right. Oh, more disappointment. Yay. 
Man, you guys are supposed to be nice. Well, kind of. These are a, a race of boyers, pretty much. Miss. You just walk right into it, dude. Dang, dude. Stop. Come here. There you go. Go ahead and take one of those health packs. I think these allow you to get um, status elements off of you. It's kind of expensive, but these are too. I don't want to use up my health packs, not unless I absolutely have to, but my health was getting low. And I know I have this, which I need to use more often, which I have been actually. All right. Any more derplings down here? Derpling. See if I can guess where he's at. Got him. Ha. Psychic. Do I have this? Yes, I do. Oh, what is this? Necrocle Necrolix Celestial, Celestial Cutter. That's kind of hard to say. It's a bit of a mouthful. So I used one health pack, got another one back, so I didn't lose anything. This goes should go into a cave, it usually does. Kinda wanna find another challenge door. Found an interesting er uh, interesting one late earlier. If I can talk right now. My talking skills are getting worse and worse. I've become a senile old fool. Come on guys, 40 years old is not bad. It's not too old yet. Ooh, Solarium, I think. That might be gold. Yeah, it's gold. Solarium looks more bright. But it looks a lot like gold, of course. And I have that light augment on my uh, pack, so I don't have to worry about light. And, of course, uh, the solarium will be more concentrated the further you go down. Died in the last episode. Because the enemy kind of kicked my butt. This place is not very easy. But I do have more defense now because I have that new armor. It's not an extreme upgrade, but... It is the final tier, so there's nothing else after this. Ooh, health 2 augment. Nice. Gives you more health, of course, as indicated. And if these uh, upgrades, if you're done with all your upgrades on everything, like this on your ship, plus your uh, all your abilities, you can sell them. And they, they can be worth a bit of money. If you're needing pixels on the fly or something. Or you can just use the uh, pixel compressor thing or whatever it's called. The refiner. Allows you to turn ore, raw ore, not refined ore, into money. So you got several options. Who would live down here? Seriously. This is not very very nice and kind of a place to live you know what I'm saying we might find a challenge door I did find one in the last planet when I was off camera and that's the one that was kind of interesting oh a chest you never know what you're gonna get in chest garbage or something good yeah it wasn't that great and we got quest down here this looks familiar like I just did this kind of recently Why is it not getting me solarium? This is a solarium. No, it ain't. It's an ice world, so it's automatically... It's giving me weapons and stuff in chests that are rank 6 or, you know, rank 5 or whatever. But it's... Because it's an ice world, it's defaulting to the last tier. 
Uh, teleport core. So we're going to go deeper and see if there's any solarium. Because I haven't found any at all. And on the other world, that lava world, I was finding it already. In smaller quantities, but still I could find it. I ain't finding nothing. Aw, oh, man. Grappling hook time. Whoop. Hey, you don't land me on top of anything. Bro. Poison, dude. Did that hurt? Ah. Uh, got him. Yeah, I haven't seen no slurrium at all. What is that? Okay. Gold. No. Poison. So much poison. Alright. Yeah, it's giving me these next tier order uh or ores which should be tier five planets tier six it's not giving me that so we got to go to new tiered worlds hey all that wasted time all that wasted time on that planet oh well shouldn't have never gone to the ice world okay let's see I'm here let's go here well, I'll check out this plant real quick, and then I'm going to end the episode. Next episode, that will be next week. I will be starting the storyline, the next segment. Like I said in my uh, description and at the beginning of this playthrough, I am taking my time at this game. I, ru I felt like I rushed Terraria too much. And, it's, it, and to me... I know everybody's impatient on the internet and whatnot. You know, everybody's gotten so conditioned to watching people, other YouTubers that's already established, flying through a game so fast they're only doing like five episodes and already beat it because they cut out all the middle bits. But I don't want to do that. I want to show you guys the full thing. And if you haven't played this game, you get to see everything that you, what to expect, whatnot. You know, I show you the full game, not just part of it. I don't even know if this chest is going to be worth it. like the uh, volcano design, though. It's kind of cool. Now, worst. Obsidian. Takes forever to break. And real obsidian, like in real in the real world, is... I don't think it's that hard. It's more like glass. It's harder than regular glass, of course, but... It's not so hard that it's hard to dig through. I think stone is more hard than the obsidian is. Oh man, it had to be red at the very bottom too. Watch it just be uh, lava balloons, most likely. Or another part of the um, costume. Or the fire guy, or whatever his name is. Alright. Yep, Fire Lord. Yay. Those chests have always been disappointing. For the most part. But this world will be tiered where it should be. Oh, I can see the chest right there. Why go into here when you can just go straight through? Oh. Lame. Oh, set myself on fire. I don't know if you're evil, bro. All right, you're good. You're not, though. Kind of a cool looking dude. Shoot one random shot. See what we hit. Oh, jeez. Kind of wanted another one of the other worlds. Destroyed city. But in this whole system, there's no such destroyed city. That was a piece of one in that one uh, last level world I was on in the last episode. But, there's whole worlds of that style where it's just a whole bunch of broken down city and stuff. That's one tier I haven't showed you guys. Man, that is disappointing. Why is that even a thing in this game? Why do you have a chest hidden 
in a huge pile of lava or a mountain like this and yet the loot is so lame I would love to know oh jeez what was that oh I'm just going to jump in the lava <laughs> good job man whoa what happened there it looked like it hit him like multiple times I don't know what happened only shot one arrow Hey, little fire dude. What's up? Haha, <laughs> I got ranged. Hey, a tech chest. One tech card. And some copper wire. Well, it's two. Two tech cards. Hey, bro, you want arrow? Oh, it didn't double hit him like that one did. That was kind of cool. It wasn't kind of cool. It was completely awesome, bro. I only shot that once. If you hold down the mouse button when you shoot this thing, it, it'll connect and then disconnect almost immediately. Hey, bro. Oh, what is this? Apex, huh? Yep, you can tell. Because banana. I'm gonna take this from my pet. Oh my goodness. Yep, Apex. I gotta bring out my scanner because I have not really found Apex before. They're very scientific. And we got ourselves a dungeon. A new dungeon type apex of course I'm gonna just I'm gonna explore the top here and then the next episode we're going to start with this because it, I'm running out of time on my video so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, cut here or uh, in the episode here and then next episode we're going to start here and I'll pick up this I like this locker. That's a neat one. How many slots is that? 48? 32. Okay. Alright. Well, next episode we'll go start right here. And we're going to go straight down and do this dungeon. And after that we're going to go and start to finish up the uh, Hylodl snake. Hylodl snake. But uh, we're going to finish up the Hylodl mission. Fight Azra Knox and move on from there oh fence nice i thought i scanned those fences before all right well if you'd like to become part of the meerkat nation hit that like uh subscribe button join today i would love to see those numbers grow for sure they have been at a standstill for quite some time and then going to fail the whole thousand subscribers four thousand watch hours thing which is actually kind of scary since I'm literally doing this every day for you guys so show some love back you know and subscribe and give me some likes and whatnot give me some watch time help my channel out so I can continue making more and more videos I don't mind making the videos because this is uh, really fun but I need some incentive to do so and that's from you guys and if you like my commentary find it felt ha helpful funny or entertaining hit that like button if you did not still hit that like button to show you support because I can only get better and uh, don't forget about that notification bell next to the subscribe button to keep up with my latest videos and all my doings on YouTube and you'll never miss a thing I upload daily so that's a thing too alright well I'll see you guys later bye bye